Hi guys, welcome to Family Create. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a helpful software that can move your WhatsApp chat from your Android phone to your Apple phone and vice versa. The software package is called iTranso for WhatsApp from a company called iMyPhone. So transferring data between phones using different operating systems is not always simple or straightforward. And this is where iTranso can make the process quicker and easier. It's not only for transferring WhatsApp, you can also back up just your chat on your PC without backing up your whole device and then restore whenever you need to, which is very useful for those of us uh, who use WhatsApp for important communications. I also have two licenses to give away to my viewers that you can use on up to five devices. So if you are lucky enough to win one of these licenses, you will save just over $39. So please do continue watching and I will give the competition entry details later on in the video. Okay, so let's check out the iTranso for WhatsApp. Uh, I will use to move my WhatsApp chat from S22 Ultra to iPhone 6S. First you need to go to iMyPhone website, download and install the software on your PC. I'll leave all the details and the link in the description box. It's available both on Mac and Windows. I'm using the Mac version for this video. There is a very helpful step-by-step -step user guide which you can follow along with the on-screen instructions. Tick the license agreement and complete installation. Okay, let's look at the software and its key features. So WhatsApp chat transfer. This can be done between Android to iOS devices or the other way around and you can easily switch between your source devices and your destination devices too. WhatsApp chat backup to PC without the need to backup your whole device. WhatsApp chat restore and you can choose which backup you want to restore. Okay, so I'll do a quick demonstration um, of how the software works. Uh, I'll be transferring data from my S22 Ultra to uh, iPhone 6S. To begin, you need to follow a few steps on your Android device. So if you don't have the developer option enabled, you do need to go to about phone section on your phone. Uh, tap the developer option and on the build number into tap seven times to enable the developer option followed by turning on USB debugging. Moving on, on the iOS you need to deactivate find my iPhone under setting by tapping on your account. Then tap on find my followed by find my iPhone and turn it off. You will need to enter your Apple ID password to do this. At this stage, you can download WhatsApp, but don't sign in yet. Please bear in mind, if you have WhatsApp data on your destination device, the data will be wiped when you transfer data from your source device. So be sure to back up if you wish to keep the data from your destination device. So let's connect the devices to the PC. It will prompt you if you want the PC to access the devices, you will need to allow it. Same with the iPhone, which will ask for access to iTunes, but you won't need iTunes, so you can just close it. As you can see, both devices are connected to the PC at the same time. Please note, to transfer your WhatsApp data, the program will install a customized version of WhatsApp on your Android device, which means your current WhatsApp will be automatically uninstalled from your device and replaced with this custom version. So here I'm showing you that I have WhatsApp on my S22 Ultra with images, videos, and messages on the chats but on my iPhone there is no chat. However, before the software deletes the current WhatsApp, it will request for you to turn off the Google Drive backup to never under WhatsApp setting. Then click on backup to create a local backup on your local storage, which the software will use to transfer to the iPhone later. It will then ask you to allow permission for the new custom version WhatsApp to access your story. You will then need to activate the custom version of WhatsApp using the same phone number following the on-screen instructions and restore backup. That's all you need to do on your source device. Moving on to our destination device. So make sure WhatsApp is installed. You will now need to activate it using the same phone number. At this point you may be thinking about moving your SIM over to the destination phone. Please do note that you do not need to move your SIM over to activate WhatsApp on your destination phone. You just need the code. The reason why I'm mentioning this is while you're trying to move the SIM over, if you end up disconnecting one of your phone, the whole process will have to be repeated again. Now, to enter the competition and be in for a chance to win one of these iTranso license, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below with your choice of license, Android or iOS version, and subscribe to the channel. A big thanks to iMyPhone for giving away the licenses. Petition entry will end two weeks from the date of publishing this video. And depending on number of entrants, I will choose two people randomly. So good luck guys.
By the way, while the software is doing its processing, I just wanted to quickly mention that the iTranser for WhatsApp has a free trial version with limited features of the software that you can download and check it out. However, the full version comes with unlimited features with the following price plan. At the moment, you can purchase a monthly plan at a discounted rate of $29 and an annual plan at a discounted rate of $39. The link is in the description box if you want to check it out. Moving on, we can now click on transfer. Follow the instruction on screen. Once the transfer process starts, if WhatsApp asks you to restore from iCloud, Skip Restore and the iTranser will do rest of the job of transferring data to your iPhone. Please bear in mind that after the process finishes, your destination device will restart automatically and you will have successfully transferred your WhatsApp data to your destination device. So guys, the transfer is complete. This is our source device, S22 Ultra. This is our destination device, which is an iPhone 6S. I'm gonna quickly show you. This is the chats that we had. And here we can see all the pictures and messages has transferred. And then if we look at this one, and we can see again all the messages and videos have transferred so that's all for today thank you so much for watching please do like comment and support us by subscribing until next time do take care bye bye